Welcome to the next travel videos. On this channel, we review most interesting and unique attractions that are located in different parts of the world. If you like traveling and exploring new places, you can use this channel not only as a tool that provides useful information for your travel list, but here, you can also find useful tips that can enhance your travel experience and save your money and time. If you haven't seen our previous episodes that cover most popular attractions in Rome, Pompeii, or other popular destinations around the world, please feel free to use links shown at the right top of this screen. Otherwise, you can also find many interesting videos by visiting our channel homepage, or using comments section down below. Before moving into the main topic of this episode, and discussing interesting facts about Den and Wing of the Louvre Museum, I would like to note the fact that Louvre is actually one of the biggest museums in the world. It covers an area of 72,735 square meters, or 782,910 square feet. The Louvre features a grand total of 35,000 works of art from different periods and cultures. If you wanted to spend one minute in front of every Louvre artwork, it could very well take up to 65 days to see everything. This is the main reason why we decided to visit just one of many wings of the Louvre Museum, which is called Denon. In this episode, we decided to include video fragments featuring famous masterpieces available at the Denon wing, and accompanied these video fragments with a quick overview of the most interesting facts that can be useful for planning your trip to Louvre. First and foremost, if you plan to visit Louvre, it makes a perfect sense to buy timed entrance ticket with free phone audio. Time entrance ticket would likely save hours of time that you would spend in the lines which is never fun, especially on a hot and sunny day. As for using audio devices as your guide, we would rather prefer an option of having human guided tour, over use of some audio device. However, considering amount of people in Louvre, navigation as part of the group can be very tricky or even uncomfortable, depending on your preferences, and pace of navigating the museum. In either case, we would recommend you to check out all available options of visiting Louvre either in small groups or private tours, and choose the option that fits your level of comfort and the budget. You may find many of these options using most popular platforms such as TripAdvisor, Viator, or other platform of your choice. Also, we would strongly suggest to check out Louvre Museum's official website and it does have lots of useful information about hours of operation, tickets, sections, and exhibits currently open to the public. Now let's get after some interesting facts about the Den and Wing. Number 1. Iconic Masterpieces The Den and Wing is home to some of the Louvre's most famous and iconic artworks, including Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa, painted during the Italian Renaissance. Leonardo was a brilliant artist and polymath of the Renaissance period, known for his mastery of techniques and his contributions to various fields. Mona Lisa is considered one of his greatest achievements, showcasing his skill in creating realistic and subtle details. The enigmatic smile of the Mona Lisa has intrigued viewers for centuries, the ambiguity and elusive nature of her expression have sparked countless interpretations, adding to the painting's allure. Mona Lisa has become a symbol of Western art and is deeply ingrained in popular culture. It has been referenced in literature, music, films, and advertisements, further increasing its recognition and fame. The painting's historical context plays a role in its popularity. Mona Lisa was created during the Italian Renaissance, a period of significant cultural and artistic advancements, which adds to its value and relevance in art history. The theft of the painting in 1911 and its subsequent recovery in 1913 generated widespread media coverage, turning Mona Lisa into a sensation and increasing its notoriety. Despite its fame, Mona Lisa is not frequently exhibited outside the Louvre, which adds to its mystique and makes it a special experience for those who have the opportunity to see it in person. Number 2. Rich Collection of Italian Art The Den and Wing features an extensive collection of Italian art, including works by renowned artists such as Michelangelo, Raphael, and Botticelli. Visitors can explore exquisite sculptures, paintings, and decorative arts from various periods in Italian art history. 
Number 3. Architectural Grandeur. The Denon Wing itself showcases stunning architectural features. Its grand corridors, majestic staircases, and ornate ceilings contribute to the overall splendor and ambience of the museum. The Salon Care, also known as the Square Salon, is one of the prominent exhibition spaces within the Louvre Museum. It is located in the Denon Wing of the museum. The Salon Care has historical significance and is an integral part of the Louvre for several reasons. The Salon Care has its roots in the original layout of the Louvre Palace, which was initially built as a fortress in the 12th century and later transformed into a royal residence. The Salon was created during the reign of King Louis XIV in the 17th century, and it served as a part of the royal apartments. Throughout history, the Salon Care was used to showcase the French royal collections. It displayed various forms of art, including paintings, sculptures, tapestries, and decorative arts. These collections were amassed by the French monarchy over the centuries and later became the foundation of the Louvre Museum. After the French Revolution, the Louvre Palace was transformed into a public museum in 1793, known as the Musée Central des Arts. The Salon Care continued to be an important exhibition space, displaying masterpieces from the royal collections and newly acquired artworks. The Salon Care features classical architectural elements and elegant design, reflecting the artistic tastes of the time. Its decorative details, such as ornate ceilings and intricate woodwork, contribute to the overall grandeur and aesthetic appeal of the space. Today, the Salon Care continues to be a vital part of the Louvre, housing important artworks and providing visitors with a glimpse into the historical and artistic legacy of the French monarchy. It represents the rich heritage of the Louvre Museum and its transformation from a royal palace to a renowned public institution. The Grande Gallery, in the past also known as the Gallery du Bord de l'Eau, is a wing of the Louvre Palace, located next to Salon Care. The Grand Gallery houses the longest and largest room of the museum, also referred to as the Grande Gallery, one of the museum's most iconic spaces. The Grande Gallery primarily exhibits a remarkable collection of decorative arts. The Red Rooms, which derive their name from the color of their walls, are home to some of the largest paintings in the Louvre, including masterpieces by the greatest 19th-century French painters from David to Delacroix. The Red Rooms were part of Napoleon III's project to expand the museum and give it splendor worthy of his imperial status. The red and gold decoration, created in 1863 by Alexander Dominique Denuel, contributed to that goal. The predominantly brown tones of the paintings stand out against the red background. The rooms originally presented works by 17 and 18th century French masters, with large 19th century paintings added later. Compositions by the greatest names in French painting, such as Jacques Louis David, Theodore Jericho, and Eugene Delacroix, are now displayed side by side on the walls. Apart from famous portraits such as Madame Recamier by Jacques-Louis David and Mademoiselle Riviere by Jean-Auguste Dominique Ingres, most of the works in the Red Rooms fall into the history painting category, traditionally regarded in France as the most important and prestigious. Although all of the paintings at the Louvre Museum are worth taking a look at, the Red Rooms exhibit many of must-see masterpieces including the Raft of Medusa, the Coronation of Napoleon, Liberty leading the people and many other breathtaking masterpieces that take you back into the past and provide unique opportunity to take a look into unbiased pictures of life at that time.
The Gallery d'Apollon, also known as the Apollo Gallery, is one of the most famous and iconic spaces within the Louvre Museum in Paris. It is renowned for its opulent and lavishly decorated interiors, as well as for housing the French crown jewels. The Gallery d'Apollon is a long gallery located on the first floor of the Louvre's Den and Wing, overlooking the Seine River. It was originally built in the 17th century during the reign of Louis XIV and underwent subsequent renovations and additions. The gallery's name is derived from the presence of a large painting, Apollo Slaying the Python, which was commissioned by King Louis XIV and placed at the center of the ceiling. The gallery is famous for several reasons. The Gallery d'Apollon is adorned with intricate frescoes, gilded moldings, ornate ceiling paintings, and elaborate chandeliers. The decorative elements reflect the opulence and grandeur of the French monarchy during the Baroque period. Until the French Revolution, the Gallery d'Apollon served as a display space for the French crown jewels. These included precious gemstones, crowns, scepters, and other regal adornments. While the crown jewels are no longer exhibited in the gallery, its historical significance in this regard remains. Over the years, the Gallery d'Apollon has undergone extensive restoration and refurbishment to preserve its splendor. It now serves as an exhibition space for temporary displays, showcasing various art collections and special exhibits. The gallery's architecture and design represent the grandeur and artistic vision of the French monarchy. It is an excellent example of Baroque style and serves as a testament to the cultural heritage of France. These are just a few interesting facts about the den and wing of the Louvre Museum. Exploring this section provides an opportunity to delve into the masterpieces of Italian art, admire historical artifacts, and immerse oneself in the grandeur of one of the world's most renowned museums. We hope that you enjoyed this video and find it useful for planning your trip to Paris. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel. This could help you to find next interesting attraction that you can visit on your next trip. If you liked this video, please go ahead and hit the like button located right down below this video. Also, if you are planning to go on a trip with your friends or other members of your family, feel free to share this video with them. If you will have any additional questions, feel free to post them in the comments section and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. We will continue sharing our experiences from visiting other major attractions around the world, and we'll share new episodes about other interesting attractions in Paris so don't forget to subscribe and do not miss new episodes. Thanks again for watching.